Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We've got the Tech One Keyboard X Gamer Keyboard. Compliments of the dollar store. No, I actually bought it. I'm just kidding. They didn't give me nothing. Um, but yeah, um, got this at the dollar store today. I was in Sturgeon Falls and uh, saw these there and I thought, eh, cool. I mean, we have those headphone stands and my wife's got some of these tower lights that I had. I gave them to her and uh, we, we bought their gamer mice and they're actually really good. Uh, surprisingly enough, they just don't want to die. So, um, yeah, to a dollar store near you, you can pick one of these things up. But let's see what it's like first before we actually say go ahead and do it. All right. So, yeah. Oh, there it goes. All right. Let's put this puppy out of the bag. So it looks kind of cool. Definitely 100% plastic. As you know, it's going to be cheap. It's got some little feeties on it. That's kind of interesting. I think it's handy having a USB keyboard around, even if it's for a PC. And of course I do have a PC, but I do have a keyboard. Um, and I do have a spare USB keyboard that I use actually on my Mac because I don't use Apple keyboards and mice, especially for games, but for anything really. So uh, we're gonna plug this into my PC and uh, Let's see what happens. Well, it lit up and shut off. And um, yeah, we got sound control. We've got num lock. Okay, what else do we get to do here? All right, forward and backward. audio up. Now there is a way to turn this thing on and off. I better read the box, right? Press the soft key pressure. So it's, it's a membrane keyboard. 104 standard keys. Press the scroll lock button to turn. Oh, there we go. All right, now we can dish this. So that's kind of nifty. Now, as far as uh, lighting effects go, um, yeah, it's either on or off, that's it. There's none of this, um, you know, rotary stuff or any of that sort of thing. Um, but it does look kind of neat. I mean, if you want a cheap, cheap gamer keyboard, you know, the keys feel nice. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that too much. Oh, let's put the weapons away. I'm a little busy. I've got all sorts of enemies. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go in here. I have to go see a guy in here someplace. Him I gotta see, but I need to concentrate on this, so I'm not gonna go see him yet. But it seems to operate fine, and uh, the lighting isn't too bad. Let's uh, torch the lights in here and see what it looks like lit up in the dark. Where is my controller? There it is. Ooh, cool. That's actually not too shabby, just like that. That's that's awesome. So there's the, the night view. Yeah, so you can sit here and play games at night. Now, as far as lighting up the key caps, it doesn't actually do that, but there's enough light coming off this. I mean, you can you can pretty much see where you are between your computer screen and and whatnot, you're, you're, you're easy enough to see, you know, where you're going in here, and, I mean, you should know where the keys are on your keyboard anyhow. Ooh, let's steal some food and get busted. Mmm, yeah, mmm, all this food, yeah, yum, yum. Can't steal it, though, we get in trouble. So, um, all right, let's, uh, <laughs> figure out where I threw that again. Boom, boom, all right. So, for five dollars a dollar rama, ain't that bad, you know? Um, I have another one of their keyboards that I picked up a while back. Uh, I've been using it off and on as far as, you know, reloading my Mac with, because like I said, I'm not using Apple keyboards and mice, so um, my Logic Tech stuff doesn't stay bound. My mouse, actually, my mouse actually does, but for some reason my keyboard doesn't. So it's like, keyboard, keyboard, trying to reload the OS. So a USB keyboard's handy for that. I do have a keyboard that lights up my Logic Tech 
it's actually quite fine. It's very high quality um, and they're, they're fantastic. Um, highly recommend these because uh, then you can do three computers, you know, just boom, boom, boom. Same as the mouse, you know, three devices. Uh, but this even for a cheap keyboard, if that's all you want, it's a cheap thing. For five bucks, I mean, you can't even make it for five bucks. Heck, even the keycaps key cost more than five dollars. So, as far as the wire goes, it seems to be all right. You know, it's not bad. I mean, hey, it's it's a wire. It's cheap, right? It's gonna work. Um, the back the back is nice. We do have red and blue lights on the back here that are kind of lit up for some reason or another. I guess for bottom lighting effect. Who knows? But uh, if you don't like the lights, you can just turn them off and that's the way it goes, or turn them back on and voila, you're good to rock and roll. Um, you can control your volume and all that stuff. Um, let me just uh, save where I am here. And quick save. Main save. All right, so let's uh, just stop. Yes. Okay, so we'll get out of there for a second. Um, but uh, let's, let's check the number pad. Oh, everything seems to work fine. Arrow keys are working fine. They are nice. Um, but as far as main typing goes, not overly noisy. Um, got a little bit of spring to it, but the feet are up, right? So if you don't want the spring, layer from now flat. It's still a little bit of flex, but hey, that's not too shabby for you know a cheap keyboard. So what do we do? Well, for five bucks, I'm giving it a four and a half out of five, baby. I think it really deserves that for the simple fact it is five bucks. It is what it is. It does light up. You've got some multiple colors. For five bucks, did you really expect that you could change colors? No. Okay, but at least they're solid. That's the nice thing. They are static. I don't like rotating colors. It bugs my eyes out. Um, so this is actually kind of nice for this sort of thing. Um, but for me, I, I would say for me, as far as my use goes, it's going to be, you know, like the other one. It's going to be a backup keyboard kind of thing. I mean... I'm really not a person that gets into a whole lot of this RGB lighting. My laptop has it and the lid stays down and I use a big display on the thing. So, you know, it's kind of like that's where I'm at with that. And besides this thing here uh, that I have from Logic Tech, this is my main keyboard for all three of my computers. I have two Mac minis and my PC all running off this and it's just like boom, boom, or boom, you know. Works better, you know, same as the mouse, it's boom, boom, boom. Works for me. But I thought I'd check this out for you guys and let you know what I thought about it. I think for $5, it's a pretty good buy. You're going to pay like 15 20 bucks at Walmart for one of those on keyboards. Actually, I actually have one of those things too. And they use like a USB dongle. And they're actually not bad either. They run off uh, AA batteries, no, AAA batteries, I believe. Um, and I still have one and it still works fine. Again, it's another emergency keyboard for somebody. My wife's got a Mac too, and you know, she's got a keyboard, but hey, if she needs a keyboard, then we've got a keyboard for her, no big deal. So, cause she's got one of these Logic Techs as well. But um, I think, yeah, for, for, four, for five bucks, I mean, how do you go wrong on something? And even if it only gets you a year, five bucks in a year, that's actually pretty good, you know? Um, I, I think it would probably cost more than a year, depending on how much you uh, pound on the keys. But I would definitely say as far as where these should be placed, probably more with the kids. So if you have a kid that's got a computer and you want to get them something, you know, special and light up and not break the bank because you know kids, they are going to break stuff, right? This is a very cheap investment. So maybe buy a couple, throw them under the Christmas tree, say, here you go, Junior. There's a bunch of keyboards for you. Or there's one and keep the other ones in hiding, right? Um, but either way, I think it's an all right keyboard. Let me know what you think. Uh, have you tried one of these things? Because, yeah, I, I think it's it's all right, you know. But it, it does actually, it does look cheap. I'll give it that. Um, you know, it, it the, the keys actually overall, though, uh, putting all the, the, the wiggle aside from this thing, the flex, um, 
I think that's okay. You know, I mean, I'd probably type on this thing without any difficulty. Yeah, keycaps works, everything works. So, no problems with it. Windows key, bing, bang. So, yeah, don't know how long it's gonna last. Not gonna abuse it to find out. Um, like I said, it's gonna be a spare for whatever. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.